I did voice impressions of the female heroes from Dota 2. Hi. I now pronounce you man and tree. I sang do you wanna build a snowman in Vietnamese and did a whole video reenactment of it. I grew 50 years of wrinkles playing Flappy Bird. I pretended my head exploded playing a background extra in Kingsman The Secret Service. I made 5 fashion videos which is actually quite a lot because I have to travel in between places and get changed in between shots and yeah that's a lot of effort. I stepped foot in the stream and it made me feel like a kid again splashing about. I sang a let it go cover mixed with all the Asian languages that were available officially. I gave advice to haters but it was good advice. I played season 1 and 2 of The Walking Dead and made a whole Let's Play series on it. I turned my sister into Pikachu and I into Pichu by eating some strange Pokemon sausages sent to me by Shaori Shi. In Easter I went to Vietnam to visit my mother's hometown and it felt strange being back after 8 long years of not visiting. During my holiday there, I was driven really really high up the scary mountain on my way to a city called Da Lat. I splashed my feet and washed my face in a pool of pure refreshing mountain water. I felt so hippie. One with nature. And I shouted out at the top of my lungs whilst on the mountain. It's so relieving to do that. I visited Ha Long Bay and explored a part of a cave that no one wanted to go in because it smelt like bat shit. Literally, bats flying and pooping everywhere. I did a parody song cover of Dango Dai Kazoku singing about feeding Poral snacks to Porals. I cosplayed Jinx which is my most prideful cosplay mainly because I carry three weapons all day and because it's Jinx. In the summer, I reached 100,000 YouTube subscribers, yay! I'm still waiting for my silver play button award though. I was a featured extra in the new Warner Brothers movie, Pan, playing a small part of being Tiger Lily's handmaiden. I went to Seoul, the capital of South Korea. I Gangnam Ding Gangnam, and um, yeah. Cringe! I visited a dog cafe! So cute how the dogs went up to the visitors and laid in their laps. These dogs acted more like hyper cats. One of the things that I did there was eat raw octopus and I felt it squirm and stuff in my mouth. It was tasty though. I also travelled to Tokyo, Osaka and Kyoto in Japan. I petted the Hachiko statue! Hachi-chan! I went to the limited time Pikachu cafe and ate Pikachu curry, Pikachu dessert, Pikachu everything Pokemon! I also went to the Ozio cafe or the Final Fantasy cafe and had all these tasty Final Fantasy themed foods. I watched fireworks at a random spot in Osaka with my best friend Jun. Look at this picture, so animoon! I saw myself briefly in two different outfits on Guardians of the Galaxy. In October, I cosplayed Arcade Misfortune from League of Legends, making that three ADCs I have cosplayed so far. I don't know what it is about ADCs, but yeah. I put makeup and a wig on my brother to make him look like me. I ate the world's hottest chili pepper and burnt my aho and throat six times. First five times from eating it and the last because I vomited it back out so that burnt my throat like a bitch. I tried to do the saltine cracker challenge and failed. Any last words? I did more League of Legends voice impressions. It's called Gunplay! <laughs> Finally, I ended the year with 123,000 subscribers! 2014 is what I considered a really relaxing year. I felt like I've not achieved anything or improved any skills, which is slightly disappointing, but I can't dwell on that. And as you can see, compared to last year, I couldn't even make it to 50. Ah, I shouldn't compare. 
Comparing too much stops me from enjoying life. It's something I need to stop doing overall so I can be happier. All I can do now is look forward, keep my chin up and compete with myself so I can make myself a better person. 2015, I'm ready for you!